Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and it's Tuesday and it's the tutorial but because of my um, pain in my arm I've done quite a bit of pre-preparation so I'm probably going to talk through quite a lot of it so it's an Eiffel store uh, project share and I'm going to show you what we're using today and it's that set of scary spiders that I showed you in the hall yesterday it's the small cobwebs and that one in particular the reason for that is because it's got a hole in the middle and if you want to make something move then you need a hole the other one that I used is what I did cut out and it took me an awful long time to do it because of the pain and uh, I did show you that already cut out and that's the one that I'm going to use so I didn't have to do it again and this one is the background and these are four and a quarter by four and a quarter square and as you can see it also has a hole you need the holes in which to insert your brad or if you're sort of like bonding a couple of sequins together you can make like little pulley wheels and things and uh, holes that are in dies are very useful I've also used my Dollar Tree foamy pads and also tape and I don't have that on my desk because I just finished the roll and uh, if I mooch around there you go that, that's what's left of my Dollar Tree foam tape so I have used that and I took one of the foam pads and punched a hole in it and I did that using my cropper dial and doing that because we need some dimension right I'm also going to be using my needle tip glue bottle lovely things from Aliexpress super cheap don't spend a fortune on these when you can get like five or ten for a couple of bucks and what else are we using obviously a pair of scissors we're going to need a brad so I've got my junk bag here which is a great little thing there you go it's really really old there you go junkets that's when like nobody knew who Tim Holtz was that's how old this is so in here I just chuck all sorts of like metal things you know metal findings and things like that little things that I might need um, but aren't necessarily important to have out all the time like those are magnetic clasps that you can use on bags and stuff and I uh, don't know what else I've got in there but it's just bits of metal and really really early um, graphic 45 I think is in here uh, we could go reminiscing but it might take me a long time to find all that stuff but I will show you this here's a really really uh, early clothespin look at that it's brass and it has timeless stamped on it and I am pretty sure that's graphic 45 when they launched their very very first collection so you know I just chuck all kinds of stuff in there but what I'm after is a small dark brad and I do tend to stick them in here in case I need to hold down some thick metal so there I found one Copper will do because the spider is going to hide it. So that's my junk bag, and you can get these um, from places like Tractor Supply and oh, I'm trying to think of the other place that sells all the tools. Harbour Freight, yeah. And of course, you can also get them on AliExpress. I don't know how much they are on there, but they're really, really good. But as I say, mine's really dusty and really old. So I'll move that out of the way right so I've got my brad and here is my pre-preparation right the frame of the uh, spider web which is this four and a quarter inches and I also cut a piece of four and a quarter inch white cardstock to glue that uh, spider's web down I've used my cropper dial and I punched a hole there's already a hole in the spider web as you can see there but I needed it to go straight through the white cardstock so I've got a hole all the way through here is where I've used my Dollar Tree foam tape on the back because you need it to be elevated so that the uh, brads can spin so you need space behind there and because you need space and then you need to hide what you've done I've cut a four and a half inch frame in orange 
So this is a Halloween card and with spiders for some I guess it could be a little bit scary but hopefully the colours will take some of the scariness away. And I did try actually to, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh yeah, my googly eyes. I went through my googly eyes. Look at that. I've used all my small ones. I've had these for years. But all of those were just too big. Otherwise, I was going to make my spider look a lot more friendly. But um, I couldn't. So they're going to be scary. Right. So in the little set of cobwebs, I said I used the one that's got the hole in it. And I cut that out three times because I wanted it sturdy. And that's the one that's going to be spinning. So pop your brads through the centre of there. See how nice and thick that is, cut out three times. And now you can just pop it through here. Whoop, like that. Sorry, my arm's really hurting. And you're going to be able to move it, but you're not going to be able to move it as much as having a piece of foam under it. So that's why I did that. But... Because of the spider that's going on there, which is, let me find it, this one, you need to be able to crop your foam down so that it's not showing through. So the first thing we need to do is leave the brad in the hole and open that out to make life a little bit easier so that that's down like that. And then I'm going to use a glue dot to pop my spider on top. So I'm actually going to put the glue dot on top of the brad. So you can see what a glue dot looks like there. And I'm going to try and... And then I've shown you this before. And I've lost my poke tool now. There we go. And you can see that it's a lot larger than the head of the brad. So you can just fold it over so that it's not going to interfere in anything other than holding the spider on. So now we can get our spider and we can arrange it. And because we're going to be moving this around, we don't really want it anywhere near the white part of the web. So now you've got your spider stuck down. And as you can see, that will spin, but the web is also going to spin. Now I think I actually need to move my spider down a little bit more there I think that's a bit better so now he's like moving on there he does look quite scary doesn't he so we now need to pinch these open again not open closed it's amazing where your brain goes when you're in pain and now we can just poke that through our foam so we've got that there so we are elevated, but at the same time, we do not want to see that foam pad. So I'm just going to get my scissors and start chopping bits off. So I can see that bit is hidden behind the spider. And I need to do exactly the same with this. You might not end up actually with much foam pad left when you're done. And... Looking at the angle of that. That's why I went for a white background because I knew these were white. And I think that's it. So you've got your foamy pad underneath your spider. And now pinching that up again. You don't need to take the sticky stuff off because you want it to uh, glide. So whatever you do, don't peel your backers off your foam pad. And then that can open out onto the back of your card there like that. And that should spin. You've got two bits there that, whoops, that should spin independently, actually. But if I make any errors today, then you're going to have to forgive me. So, yeah, there you go. You're gonna, you, you should get movement from both things. Yeah, it's just catching it right. But, you know, I'm kind of happy with that. I've made an interactive card, so I'm happy. And what I want to do now is I want to take these off and stick it to the base. And, of course, 
once you've done that it's hidden everything that's going on inside so you could do sort of like several spider webs that spin as long as you cut them out several times so that um, they've got some you know substance to them you don't want anything flimsy so I'm just going to stand up for a second so that I can see because I just can't manoeuvre stuff at the moment there we go and I'm hoping I'm going to get it in the centre I'm just going to go for that so now everything is hidden there and you've got your moving spider of course if it had googly eyes on it would look seriously cute but I'm also wanting to do the corner so I've got this little bit of spider's web here and I'm just going to dot glue where it matters you don't have to do every single bit on a, an intricate die because once you've done your major bits the other bits just you know kind of hold it in position so I want that into the corner I've got that piece in there and just stick it down just take quite a few minutes actually in uh, humidity to get your glue going right that bit sticking up there actually doesn't bother me the more dimension the merrier but these edges need to be stuck down and then I'm going to go for this spider, which I think is super, super scary. <laughs> I mean, if I saw that, you know, climbing up the wall, I'd probably leave the house. <laughs> I mean, I'm scared of spiders, but not scared of spiders, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to have him there. And then I'm going to use another glue dot. And I'm going to put this one somewhere. So I've used an uneven number and I'm not quite sure actually which way that goes but I think I'm just gonna you know stick it there that looks quite terrifying so we've got sort of like a movable part and you have to apologize you know <laughs> if you've got an arm like mine and it's not working out right so as I say you know I mean quite a bit of pain at the moment and that's what I've got for you today and I do hope Eiffel Store is okay with that but um, I do thank you so much for watching I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do tomorrow but uh, it's going to be something you know that's been quite gentle on the arm that's all I can say but I do have to do something because I craft every single day I'd go nuts if I didn't so it's just one of those things but we'll see what I come up with tomorrow but if that was a bit confusing, I apologise. And when my arm is better, apparently in two weeks, it should be absolutely fine. Um, I'll come back and do that again. And maybe this time I'll make a little pulley wheel so that as you turn this, it will pull a spider up, you know, using some fishing line. Because fishing line is something I always keep on my desk. Why not? <laughs> Everybody needs some invisible thread. So anyway, that is my Eiffel Store project for today. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And as I say, I do apologise if I'm all over the place. Right, as usual, all links below. Bye.